If you have a Ford Escape and the fan only works at certain speeds like mine, this was only working on max, see? And yeah, so if yours is doing that, it's probably a resistor that's like a $20 part. So you can get that part for about 20 bucks or you can pay a mechanic like something like two, 300 bucks or whatever to fix it. Um, so yeah, I suggest uh, trying this. So what you can do is you can open the glove box here. You wanna pinch the sides on it. Make sure you take your gloves out of the glove box first, right? And uh, you know, you're driving gloves. But yeah, we're gonna pinch the sides here and open it up. And behind the glove box, you're going to look inside there and up here is this plug right here. This plug goes to the resistor and that's what we're going to take out in a second. But first I want to show you where the two screws are that you need to take out. So on the top here you can see that there's one back in the corner and one in the front. So first you're going to take out the plug. It just pulls out. There's no clip on it or anything. And then you're going to take an 8 millimeter socket. You probably need a little short one because there's not much space in there and you might have to uh, you might need to be a contortionist in order to actually get in there to reach it but yeah you're going to take out those two screws you're going to pull out this resistor because those two screws were what was holding it in so yeah that comes out and if you can survive contorting to get in there <laughs> to get it out and then what you're going to do is do all that in reverse to put it back in so you put the new one in and you put in your screws into there and tighten them back in with your socket and then you're gonna plug the plug back in. So like I said, there's no clip on it or anything. The plug just plugs back in by friction. So we're gonna put it in there. And we are done. And so then you just need to uh, put your gloves back in your glove box and close it up. And that's it. There's more information in the description if you need it, like the part number and all that stuff. And yeah, thanks for watching and good luck fixing it.